Newer esports titles all have some type of gimmicky movement tech. Apex Legends tap strafing, Counter Strike bunny hopping, Valorant bunny hopping. They are features implemented as another layer of skill to the game. Obviously tuned to keep the mechanics balanced, but this wasn't always the case. There was a time when advanced movement techniques were called exploits. <laughs> Dating back to Wolfenstein 3D, players discovered that combining two movement keys and looking rather diagonally, you could move faster. In speedrunning terms, it became known as SR40. Doom introduced an even faster method deemed SR50. The combination press of four buttons. This technique is faster because when you turn while having the strafe modifier pressed, your turn inputs become strafe right inputs. At the expense of not being able to turn around, strafe running would become a common trend among the games of that era. Duke Nukem, Blood, Goldeneye, all the way up to Quake with the introduction of bunny hopping. At its core, it consists of strafing to gain speed and jumping to maintain speed. Quake in particular has quite brutal ground friction and without access to thick perfect jumps, a more advanced technique developed called power bunny hopping. ID software didn't like that, so by Quake 2 they set out to patch all these game breaking bugs, while instead they created an entire different set of movement techniques that would plague almost every ID tech game to come. Quake 3, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Doom 3, Rage, Call of Duty, Infinity Ward built the Call of Duty engine IW on top of ID tech 3. Early COD games maintained the same physics, so players jumped around like Quake. also built on top of ID Tech, became Valve's Half-Life engine, Gold Source. They tweaked the physics a little bit, notably removing the ability to jump automatically when holding space, however it didn't take long for players to figure out binding jump to scroll wheel can very effectively spam jump inputs. Valve weren't big fans of the discovery, so they implemented a dumb b-hop cap that resets your speed after like 2-3 jumps, making speedrunners play an old version of the game that doesn't have it. Which essentially negates the the stupid thing Valve did with the 1.1.8 uh, patch where the bunny hop cap was implemented. There's also the Adrenaline Gamer community, maintained by Sorcerers, featuring jump climb servers where you can play 1.6 KZ maps at half-life speeds or fast run. Hello guys, today I'm gonna play fast run. As you can see, I like fast run a little bit, not too much, but uh, I hope I can get world record soon. I expect 12 second world record to be honest. Oh my god, do you see my strafe guys? I think I'm gonna, I'm about to get world record. Holy shit. Counter Strike. Active exercise, you. This could be your phys ed. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah, I try to sneak through the door, man. Can't make it. Can't make it. The shit's stuck. Out of my way, son. Door stuck. Door stuck. KZ, hide and seek, surf. Different game modes, similar movement techniques, but distinct goals. Surf in particular is very different in 1.6, with maps containing various KZ sections, and there's no plugins to remove the b-hop cap, so players rely on duck tapping as an efficient way to travel outside of ramps. After being ported to Source is where Surf really took off, with KSF being the most competitive surf community to date. It is preferred over CSGO, or CS2 now, due to tick rate, model size, and just the movement in Source is really dialed in. The Source engine really became home to movement exploits. Each and every game has some type of movement quirk. When Half-Life 2 released, you could simply hold forward, spam jump and gain speed without even strafing. Valve supposedly fixed it later, except they only broke the game more, introducing accelerated back hopping. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Yeah, what's up? Nah, I don't need it. Yeah, no thanks. Which is still present on the latest version and portal. Left 4 Dead is the only Valve game that doesn't stop players from b hopping. Except it's also the hardest game to b hop in. With a lower tick rate of 30 compared to the usual 60, it renders the scroll wheel useless. So how do you b hop? Well, you have to hit tick perfect jump inputs, one mistimed input, and your speed reset. You also have to strafe relatively slow due to the game not updating very often. Pills here. 
By Portal 2, Valve figured it out. As soon as the player reaches a certain speed threshold, take their ability to strafe away. Obviously it's not very effective, as before hitting the speed threshold, players can still be up a little bit, circle strafe, wall strafe, wall jump, speedrunners still have their way with the game. Counter Strike Global Offensive Oh, hold on, hold on, my man. Uh, my man, I was wiping some shit off, pause. Excellent narrator. El narrador se ha cerrado what? inesperadamente. Si esto no se esperaba, visite el sitio web oficial de Microsoft. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is happening. In CSGO, the movement has been refined numerous times. They're still refining it in CS2. Oh, but what the hell? Oh, no. Clearly Valve understands the importance of skill based movement in Counter Strike, so they never fully patch it. As we know, the community loves these mechanics. Riot Games also seems to understand it, so they copy pasted it into their game. Riot Games also has a nice anti cheat. Riot Games also has an amazing community. For every kill you get, I'll give you an <laughs> Alright, bet. Respawn saw the potential of Source, so they came up with Titanfall. The concept was good, but the game felt unfinished until the sequel, Titanfall 2. For once, developers actually encouraged and based the whole game around high skill movement mechanics wall running, sliding, crouch hopping. Combining all this with the double jump and traditional air strafing, as well as damage boosting, and you have the golden child of bunny hopping movement tech. Following the success of Titanfall 2, Respawn hopped on the Battle Royale trend with Apex Legends, removed wall running double jumping, nerfed b hopping a little bit, watered it down. Ooh, I'm edging it. Ooh. Oh? Nope, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Black Mesa has cool mechanics. I did all the achievements. The game is fun. Creed's climbing and momentum mod dive specifically into the movement aspect of the engine. I will briefly mention Minecraft as well. The parkour in that game is iconic and the community did discover a certain 45 degree strafe method. Looks cool but it's very impractical. Oh, you playing Minecraft. I like it cut G. I did find this earthquake mod that adds Half-Life code into the game. Crossfire If you enjoyed this, check out my last video on the history of the Source console. Creatics.